Hello and welcome to part 3 of Karkovetska Southwest Area Test Battle. At the end of part 2 we left off with the Soviets initiating their first big push under the cover of pre-planned smoke and a barrage of heavy rockets. We have returned to the beginning of the 8th minute so we can orient ourselves. I will briefly explain the orders, show the action with as little commentary as possible, and then summarize what has happened. On the far left flank, 1st Platoon of the Special Assault Company will scout and clear the buildings at the southern map edge, just south of the Memorial Park. 1st Company 2nd Platoon will provide overwatch, with 2nd and 4th squads assaulting the Memorial Park area. 1st Platoon will attempt to enter the building complex at the north edge of the Memorial Park, with 1st and 3rd squads in overwatch. 3rd Platoon is in reserve. Medium Tank 2nd Platoon will provide overwatch with 1st Tank moving to the edge of the Memorial Park for close support. Along the center building line, 2nd Company 2nd Platoon will assault center left with 4th Squad in reserve. 1st Platoon will assault center right with partially depleted 3rd Squad in reserve. 3rd Platoon on the far right will partially stay in reserve with some units providing overwatch and observation. Special Assault 3rd Platoon will assault the hospital, while 2nd Platoon stays in reserve in the rear on the other flank. Medium Tank 1st Platoon will move forward to provide close support for the efforts at the center right and hospital. Lastly, the platoon of early model SU-122s will move forward on the left to center to provide support where needed, and the machine gun company will stay in overwatch. One quick thing to note, I misjudged the duration of the rockets and launched things about a minute early. I thought they were dying down, but they were actually about to peak. Oops. Alright, let's roll.
And as the 13th minute draws to a close, let's stop the action and summarize where things stand on the battlefield. The Soviets have pushed forward across their entire line and gained footholds across the street from their initial starting positions. The heavy rocket barrage caused a number of friendly casualties, but advancing under it may have been a lucky mistake as it gave the benefit of a thicker smoke and dust screen along with a potentially higher level of enemy suppression. Had we waited, 
The newly discovered AT gun on the right flank may have wreaked greater havoc on the advancing tanks and infantry there. Let's rotate the map clockwise 90 degrees to make viewing the details easier. The southern edge of the map is at the top, with our western direction of advance to the right. Our line is as follows. Let's proceed left to right along the line with a unit status report. At the far left, Special Assault 1st Platoon is at full strength and is scouting forward along the map edge. 1st Company 2nd Platoon has taken the Memorial Park area with the loss of only one man. 1st Company 1st Platoon has secured the building on the north edge of the Memorial Park and driven off the Germans in the factory building across the street to the west. 4th Squad took the punishment and is down by half. However, 1st Squad in reserve has four walking wounded from a nearby rocket blast. 1st Company 3rd Platoon is still in reserve, but lost a rifleman to the rocket with another rifleman lightly wounded. Medium Tank 2nd Platoon luckily avoided any Panzerstreck fire during the assault on the Memorial Park. Tank 1 is hoping to gain entry to the industrial area through the narrow gap between the buildings, while the HQ and 2nd Tank sit tight. 2nd Company 2nd Platoon, the commander of which accidentally stayed behind, is holding the center and center right, with the building complex still contested. At least one enemy Panzerstreck man and a machine gunner are at large, with some potential ambush locations left to be scouted. Early on, 3rd Squad lost half its manpower to one such ambush from a windowless upper level. The SU-122 platoon put area fire on that and other such positions, which seemed to cause some German units to displace and feed men into the point-blank firefight going on at the loading docks. 1st Squad lost three men there at the beginning of the fight. However, 2nd Company of 1st Platoon was the most engaged in the firefight and suffered the most casualties, including its commander. 4th Squad was right in the thick of the fight and was nearly wiped out. The platoon is now in a state of panic, with some units fleeing towards the body shop and others back towards the Soviet starting line. Those units, 1st and 3rd Squad, have put themselves into the kill zone of the AT gun, its first hit thankfully causing no casualties. As the turn ends, they are in a very bad location. 2nd Company, 3rd Platoon, has begun to feed units towards the hospital, with 3rd Squad leading the way. So far, the platoon has lost three men with two walking wounded, and everyone is nervous. On the far right, Special Assault 3rd Platoon has a foothold on the hospital, but has taken some blows getting there. The lion's share of casualties came from a rocket hit, which took out the flamethrower team along with six other men and forced the HQ to take cover back at the start line. 3rd Squad A-Team led the attack on the hospital, losing three men to enemy fire, but killing two in return. The remaining two men are scouting the building. Catching their breath at the eastern corner of the hospital are a second squad, the Breach Team, and the Tank Hunter Team, which have also taken casualties. All of the special assault units that have made it to the hospital are rattled. Tank Platoon 1 lost its HQ to anti-tank gun fire, and the remaining two tanks have positioned themselves out of the gun's line of sight. In their current position, they can provide fire support should any German units appear on the eastern side of the hospital or the center building line. Returning to the overview, we can see that friendly 122mm howitzers continue their point harassing fire on the state building, and four enemy tank contacts are visible. The closer two are Tigers, which have ended up in very odd positions, perhaps due to the rocket barrage. The second two are Panthers, the tank closer to the camera being a new contact. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.